guys, it's Sarah, and today we are going to talk about some books that my kids have held lately. Uh, we have let them get some books <laughs> lately. We try to encourage them to really read the books off their shelves first. I know, that's like, do as I say, not as I do type thing, and they know that too. They're like, uh, you don't. Like, <laughs> shush. So, um... We try to encourage them to do that. And Kaylin is actually, my 13 year old is pretty good about that, but she has picked up a few books here and there and just like some new releases that she was really excited about. And, you know, like series she's currently reading and she's up to date. I'm like, yes, you can get the next book type thing. So I wanted to show you some of the books that we have accumulated for my kids over the past couple of months and let you know what they're reading and enjoying and excited about. Okay, so let's start with Layla. She is my 10 year old. She is finally enjoying reading. And let me tell you, <laughs> it took a while. Uh, she started really enjoying reading, I would say, l last year, like really truly getting into books and wanting to pick up books and picking them up on a normal basis. Uh, she started that in fourth grade. She's in fifth grade now. But finally, <laughs> I mean, like first, second, third grade, getting her to read was like torture for her. She didn't want to do it. She complained. She said it was boring and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know what just kind of clicked in fourth grade, but she will, she shot off and now, now she loves books and she loves reading. So I'm so happy about that. Um, so what she's currently reading is the Princess Academy books by Shannon Hale. Um, so this is the first book. She actually picked this up with a gift card she got for her birthday um, earlier in the summer. So she picked up the first one and she read this whole thing. She's currently reading book number two right now. She has it at school with her. And then we just picked up book number three because she said when she's done with number two, she wants to move right into number three. And she's like, I want these. I love them. So she's currently reading this right now and she did explain to me what these are because I have not read these books they are probably something I should read if I want to work with kids in the future um but it's about a girl who goes to a princess academy but she's not a princess so she has to go and kind of learn about being a princess at the same time as being at this academy where she's learning princessy things so she's kind of doing double duty here um and kind of the things that she's going through there so that's all I really got from her but she is reading them, currently reading number two, and she loves them. Another set of books that she recently got is these Disney books. Um, these are Disney Chills, and these just came out for like the Halloween season. Um, so these are like Disney kind of retellings that follow um, not the princesses, but like the storylines, if you will, or like characters and villains. It might just follow the villains and their interactions with other people. Yeah, I think it is. Um, so she saw these at Target and she was like, oh. <laughs> and something we realized with Layla is she does enjoy kind of spooky, kind of scary stories a little bit. So she actually enjoys like the creep factor in some books. So, okay. Um, so I got all four of them from her. They're only $6.99 at Target. So we just grabbed all four because they were there. So she did read the first one and this is part of your nightmare. So this is an Ursula one. She read this. She really liked it. Uh, book number two is uh, Fiends on the Other Side. And that is Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog. Uh, book number three is Second Star to the Fright, and that is Captain Hook. She's really excited about that one. And the fourth one is Be Careful What You Wish For, and this one follows Corella DeVille. So, um, yeah, but she read the first one, really liked it. She's excited to read the other three this season as well. Um, so, got these at Target if you're interested. Another one that she read recently and she really liked, and this is another series as well, and that is Goddess Girls. Uh, this is Athena the Brain, and this is the first book. And she said um, her library at school has all these as well. Um, we did give her this first one for Christmas last year, um, but she really liked it. And um, this is like Greek gods but for kids basically. And it's like the Greek gods as children and they're like going to school and stuff and doing all that. So she really liked it. Another one that she picked up with her birthday gift card. Um, and this was like completely her decision, but she got Enling the last, and this is by Catherine Applegate. And I was really excited. She picked this one up. This is not one that I read, but I would like to, cause it is kind of a big one. And I know that there is a sequel out as well. Um, 
but yeah, she picked this up. She really liked the cover of it. And she is a big dog person. Like we call her the dog whisperer (laughs) because she, I swear, like any dog just kind of gravitates toward her and they are just putty in her hands by the end of the day. But um, yeah, so I think she'll really like this because it does have animals as main characters. So um, yeah, she hasn't read it yet, but she does have it. And then the last one for Layla, uh, we got on a trip to Barnes and Noble. She wanted to get the Little Mermaid. Um, this is a Little Mermaid and other fairy tales by Hans Christian Andersen. So uh, just this is one of those leather bound, beautiful, beautiful Barnes and Noble edition books. And they have a whole bunch of children's classics like this. And she was like, I want to get that. I want to actually read it. And I was like, OK, so I'm not going to argue with you. Um, she hasn't read it yet. I think she might have read the first couple pages, but she didn't like stick to it for the long haul. I think she was just trying to get a feel for it um, in the car on the way home. <laughs> but it is gorgeous. Like it is so so pretty. Okay, so those are the books that Layla got, my 10-year-old. Now we're going to work on the books that Kaylin has gotten. She is 13. She's in eighth grade. She's a huge reader, and um, she reads a lot of fantasy, so that's going to be a lot of what's in here. Okay, so what Kaylin is currently reading right now, she's reading a book in this series. This is the Undercover Princess series by Connie Glenn, and these are the first two books, and she's currently reading book number three, and there is a fourth book out as well, so I have a feeling when she's almost done with number three, she's going to want number four, (laughs) but this follows two girls who go to this prestigious boarding school. One of them is a princess, the other one is not, and when they get there, they start having these conversations and then they decide that they're going to switch places and they're going to be each other so that they can live kind of totally different lives than what they're living right now, because that's what they both want. And uh, so the first one is Undercover Princess. Second one is Princess in Practice. And she's currently reading book number three. I don't remember the name of it. And then there is a fourth book as well. So um, this is what she's currently reading. She loves them. And she uh, got these two for Christmas from my mom when we were still living in Florida. I think the last Christmas we were there, she got these for Christmas and she finally read them, (laughs) but she absolutely loves them. And when she asked for book number three, I asked her, you know, do you want to keep these on your shelves or are you just going to read them and get rid of them? Because otherwise we can go to the library. She's like, no, they're amazing. I want them. They're going to stay on my shelves as favorites. So it's like, okay. Um, But yeah, so that's what she's currently reading right now. She's reading through this series and I think she's planning to finish it. Uh, One that she picked up at Barnes and Noble, um, she just scanned the shelves and picked this up and was like, yep, I want that. (laughs) And that is this one. This is the Wing Feather Saga on the Edge of the Dark Sea of Darkness, (laughs) which I think the title definitely caught her for sure. Um, And then she read the synopsis. She was like, yeah, I want that in my life. I have no idea what this is about. I know that it's a fantasy book. That is mainly what Kaylin reads. Um, But yeah. Adventure, Peril, Lost Jewels, and the Fearsome Toothy Cows of Scree. Okay, that sounds fun. She hasn't read it yet, but she like begged for it at the store. Uh, This next one she bought with her own money. (laughs) It's something she actually saw at Barnes & Noble one day, and we were like just not buying anything at that time. And so we ended up going to Target a few weeks later. She had money, and she was like, I want to buy it. So she did. That is City of Villains, and this is by Estelle Lore. And this one does, I believe, have some Disney villain characters in it, but it's like not a Disney story. Um, It follows a young girl who is interning at a police department, and then some things start happening, and she actually ends up getting put on a case. And I think she's discovering that there are some Disney villain characters that are lurking in the shadows that nobody knows about. So I think that's what this is about. That's what I'm getting from the synopsis a little bit. So um, that definitely intrigued her, like kind of a different take on some of the villains from the movies that she loves. Speaking of Disney, (laughs) we also picked up What Once Was Mine by Liz Braswell. This is a twisted tale book. This is an entire series of twisted tales where they take your, the Disney movies and they put a twist on them. Uh, So the tagline for this one is, what if Rapunzel's mother drank a potion from the wrong flower? Interesting. So um, obviously this is a tangled retelling here. And I'm, let me tell you, Kaylin has so many of these books. She doesn't have all of them yet, but she does have so many of these books and her and I both want to read them. And neither one of us have read one yet. (laughs) Neither one of us have. But there are so many on her shelves. Like, I'm I'm not kidding. Probably seven or eight books in this series are on her shelves in there right now. And both of us want to read them. 
and neither one of us have. Um, but this one I'm really excited about because I love Rapunzel. Tangled is one of my favorite Disney movies, like besides Belle. Belle is definitely my favorite, but Rapunzel would be a very, very close second. Um, so yeah, but we picked this up right after release date. Uh, she also picked up Thornlight. This is by Claire Legrand. Uh, this is the second book that is a follow-up to Foxheart, which is Kaylin's, one of Kaylin's favorite books of all time. She absolutely loves that book. And then this one is book number two that came out. And um, yeah, so she asked if we could pre-order it because she definitely wants to read it. Hasn't done it quite yet, but it just came out like in the past couple months. And um, yeah, she's excited to read this one. But I did read Foxheart as well, and it was adorable. I absolutely loved it. Claire Legrand's one of my favorite authors, and I love that she is writing both young adult and middle grade, and that Kayla and I are both enjoying her books. So yeah. And then the last one, this is one that we definitely pre-ordered, and that is A Tale of Sorcery. This is by Chris Colfer. This is book number three in a Tale of Magic series. Kaylin has read the first two books. She loves them. Um, I would venture to say these are probably her favorite books of all time, like the series, the way she talks about it. I would say this and Percy Jackson are kind of like, maybe do this <laughs> a little bit. Um, but yeah. And this is book number three. Like I said, she's read the first two, so she's ready to read this one. And these covers, you guys, like this is beautiful, right? But look, just look at the Naked Heart cover. <gasps> oh my goodness, it is so gorgeous. And the back is just like clouds. Oh, like I would take this off and just like, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. So this is a spin-off series to the uh, series that he wrote called The Land of Stories. Um, Kaylin read all of the Land of Stories books <laughs> and she has read all these now. So she's officially read everything that Chris Colfer has written. Um, and she loves them, like absolutely loves them. She's bugging me to continue in The Land of Stories. I've only read the first two. There's six total. We have all of them. I can just steal them from her shelves. Um, so I do, that's a series I need to get back to because I did enjoy what I read when I read the first two. And then she left me high and dry. Like we read the first two together and then she was like, bye, I'm not waiting for you. <laughs> and she read all of them and I was like, okay. Um, and then she went on to this one as soon as this one was starting to be released. So it's a spinoff of it. It's not necessarily a continuation from what I'm understanding, like completely different characters, but maybe set in the same type of world. Uh, but she like is just has been yelling at me to continue so that I can get to this series because she said like she likes this better. So yeah. Okay. Those are some of the books that my kids have hauled in the past, I would say probably like six months or so and what they're currently reading right now, which is a lot of fun. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Some middle grade, maybe slash kind of young adult. Kaylin is starting to get to the point where she can, she can read some young adult. It still needs to be on the younger side of young adult for me because she's only 13 still. So I don't want a lot of the um, more risky content in there for her just yet. So, uh, if she picks up a young adult, I kind of need to like screen it first, if you will, either I've already read it or like, you know, I do some research on it first before I let her read it. So we're kind of at that point right now, which is, Oh, so terrifying <laughs> that she's getting older. Um, but she wants to start reading some more, uh, higher aged, if you will, then middle grade. She does still enjoy the middle grade stuff. Like these are books that she really has enjoyed and that she, you know, wants to keep reading and stuff. Um, but she also wants to read Lunar Chronicles. She wants to read Shadow and Bone. She wants to read Hunger Games. So she's kind of starting to get into that as well too. So we've kind of like set aside some things that I think are okay for her to read at her age. But yeah. Okay. That's it. So let me know your thoughts down below. Did you get any suggestions for your kids or grandkids or friends' kids or whatever? Let me know that down below as well. Books always make great birthday gifts. Whenever we go to a birthday party, I usually, that's usually what we give them is a book. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below and I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.